शुक्लां बरदर विष्णु शिशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपशा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्य वरधे कामिणी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम वो शांति 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 वेलकम टू संस्कृत क्लासेस विद द देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट एज वेल एज ट्रांसलिटरेशन सो टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स इंक्लूडिंग दिस क्लास द टेन क्लासेस आर गोइंग टू बी मोर क्रूशियल क्लासेस फॉर अस व्हिच हेल्प्स अस to read and write the devanagari script the language is called samskrutam the script is called devanagari the first letter which is called a how to write this a i will explain to you you know the number 3 i hope you all know the english numbers One, two, three. Huh? Just write the number three. Then keep a small line between these three horizontally. Then a vertical line, and just to cover it. This is called a. Can you please repeat after me? A. Very good. This is called Devanagari script. This is Devanagari. Then, as I said, transliteration. This is called transliteration. So please make a note. translation is different from transliteration how the translation is different from the transliteration let us understand now my name is srinivas i can write in english as s r i n i v a s r i can also write my name in french spanish and sanskritam when i write my name in the sanskritam or french or spanish will my name will change my name is same shrinivas is the same but what is changing script is changing our modern time you can use the word the font the font is changing the script is changing okay so that script is called transliteration so this is a i hope you are able to write the a now if you keep one line next to it this is called a uh, i am trying to use my mouse to write so please uh, don't look at the style of writing you can look at this one 
This is called A. Please repeat after me. A. You can keep your microphone on and you can say. Okay. Now repeat after me. A. 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 Very good. Now, Elodia, can you please tell me what is this? Ah. This one? Ah. Very good. Olesia? Ah. Ah. Very good. Is anyone having any doubt how to pronounce this one? These two letters? Any question? Oh. How to write? No, that's very good. So now you know the two letters. One is A, second one is A. Now I am going to take you to the next letter. You know the English letter S. I am just writing the S. I hope you all can able to write this S. You don't have the much difficulty to write the S. So once when you write the S, what you do? You give a nice tail to it. And on the top, you put a small T. This is called E. This E represents in a transliteration like a I, but we don't pronounce as a I, we pronounce as a E. Mm. What, what you call this one in English? What is this? Can you read anyone? Is. Is. So, is this E? Is E? from the is is taken here so even though in english when you learn a b c d e f g h i we say i but pronunciation here is or if i write i f how you pronounce this one if if that e you have to take it here for the E, transliteration is E. Now, you make a, a nice cap on the top of the E and bring it right side. This is called E. E. And transliteration, you please observe here. This is the E. And on the top, you put one line. This is called E. But in the print, what happened here? This dot is joined in the line. Hence, you don't see. Okay, But I and on the top, there is a line. You can, I hope you can able to see this dot. Okay. Now, please repeat after me. E. 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 Very good. Now I will ask you someone, you have to tell me which letter is this. Uh, Laura, what is this? A. A. E. E. Very good. Olesia? A. E. A. E. Very good. A friend? A. A. E. E. Very good. Elodia? A. A. E. E. Very good. Now I am going to take you 
to the next letters just i am writing like a number 3 and the top just to keep a line the line joins with it completely like this this is called u repeat u the transliteration is like a u you read the u but we say in the transliteration as a u then in between this o in the center you take one line and make a circle slightly bring it down like a tail and top of the u you write a line this is called o repeat o o o o o Ooh. Now repeat after me. Ooh. 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 Very good. One more time. Repeat after me. All of you. A a a a a e e e e o Oh, 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 oh. Very good. So now, all of you write these uh, six letters ten times and show it to me. Ten times each. Each ten times. Along with the transliteration, please ask if you are having any. doubt or question in how to read and how to write so far what are we have learned very good but you missed something transliteration ah uh, sorry What about the other who? You have written only one. I didn't finish. Just that. Ah, okay. Please do. Yes. Also write the transliteration. Also, I am emphasizing on the transliteration in the first ten classes because I am going to give some homework. Not today. As you progress, I will be giving some homework in the transliteration. and you will be writing into the devanagari script and sometime i will give in the devanagari script you will be writing into the transliteration so with that we will be learning like a different things from the sanskritam it may be bhagavad gita shloka it may be the mantras it may be the yoga sutras etc the practice point of view so hence transliteration as well as devanagari both are important for us at the begin as a beginner oh, okay you have written just only one transliteration okay that's good if you are able to remember the sanskritam the devanagari script that is wonderful transliteration is at the top also in the bottom ah okay in the little circle oh wonderful perfect very nice So now let us learn the remaining letters. Fran, you would like to show? Uh, half way through, okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay, fine. No issue. That's good. Perfect. You are able to write transliteration as well as uh, Devanagari script. Okay. Now I am going to take you the next. letters now here comes this r r please observe very carefully these two letters this is a, a 
print script like a electronic media this is how it is given and we are in the different fonts in the samskrutam also so one of the font which i am using shows like this but also can be written in this manner please look at these two letters very important so first i am giving a writing in a vertical line after writing the vertical line i am taking one a diagonal line slightly diagonal after taking the diagonal line so the right side one i am writing the e then i am taking one line where the two lines are joined here in a diagonally to the left then on the top you put a line this is called r how to write in the transliteration you write the letter r and put a dot below it there should be a dot below it then this is called r mm -hmm. r like a rushi okay so r i will write one more time this r please observe step number 1 straight line step number 2 a diagonal line step number 3 e right side i am putting some e and step number 4 ru this is called ru please repeat Gru. after me r r r good r like rushi you say rushi rushi now i am going to keep a kind of c below this e then it is called r r this is r this one r and this second r what we have learned just now you want to see in our day to day language you see only in the vedas in the scriptures this comes i will give one word to you just to make familiar don't worry about the meaning of that word i am using a word where this r is used this is called pitrunam pitrunam there comes this kind of r but in oftenly you don't see okay r r please repeat after me r r and r very good now please repeat after me one more time all the things whatever we have learned so far a a a a a e e e e u u u u r r r r a a a a e e e e u u u u r r 
very good now i am taking you next letters i am writing one straight line then take it to the right side and in the top try to write the parallel line very off this is called a a the e. transliteration is we write the e like when you say elephant what is the spelling of the elephant e l e p h a n t very good so how we are pronouncing are we pronouncing the elephant or elephant 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 so the this e taken for the a for the transliteration and next comes same similar right like a after writing the a keep one ponytail on the top of the a this is called i a and i together called i i is your transliteration you are using the two letters but consider as a one only even though you write the two letters you have to consider as a one so a i i so please repeat after me a a a i i i a i a i very good a i now more easy letters you know how to write the a you have already learned so write the a which you have just learned after writing the a put one ponytail on the top of the right side line then this is called o is called o o o and again write the a a this time you keep two ponytails then it is called au a u even though you write the two letters in the transliteration but it is only one a u au au please repeat after me o o o au au o au o au very good marco then next you already know the letter a so write the a after writing the a on the top you put one dot when you put one dot it is called am it is called am the transliteration is write the a and m together and put the dot above the m this is called am repeat after me am am again write the a this time you keep the two dots next to the a then it is called aha repeat aha 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 very good so the transliteration is write the a and h together and put the dot below the h aha, aha. if you miss the dot it will be the totally different again so putting the dot below the h indicates aha please repeat one more time 
Am. Am. Aha. Aha. Am. Aha. Am. Aha. Now please write ten times with the transliteration from the root to aha. You have already written up to u. Now you write root to aha. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It is a blur. Okay, good. This class looks so simple. But you will have the uh, value of this class as you progress. Because she already studied, so she can understand the value of this foundation co class. Don't neglect these uh, basic classes. Please continuously join the classes. Next to nine more classes, I'll make sure that. You are able to read and write the Samskrita. From your side, coming to every Friday class, that is the effort you need to put. Then after the class, before the next class, spend at least 60 minutes time in remaining 6 days. If you can spend every day 10 minutes also, that is good enough. Ru, ru, e, I, o, o, um, aha. Very good. Very good, Marco. Wonderful. Thanks. Ru, ru, e, I, o, o, um, aha. Very good. And those who have completed, try to write all the vowels without looking at the previous page. Oh, very good. Perfect. Yes, I can see. That's good. O, O, R, R, E, I, O, O. Very good. That's good. So now I am going to show you through software. The software which I am showing is called I Trans Two Zero Zero Three. I Trans 2003 is a software. And I am going to type the all the letters, whatever we have learned, the vowels. So the uh, software name is given here, developed by uh, one of the Swamiji's ashram, Swami Shivananda's disciple. See, I Translator 2003. Easily you can download and install. Now I am typing here. Look at. A. A. E. E. U. U. Ru. Ru. E. I O O Am Aha. Now transliteration. Now look at into the both. So what I am going to do in upcoming classes, I will be just giving you into the Devanagari and I will ask you to write into the transliteration or I may give just into the transliteration and I will ask you to write into the Devanagari. Okay. So now the another important point 
which I am going to explain to you. Please listen very carefully this one. Hello, dear. What is this? Um. Say it again one more time, please. Um. 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 Now I am going to write. E and on the top I am putting a dot. Okay, what it could be, Elodia? Im. Very good. Im. If the a ah, there is a dot above the a, ah, this is called am. Um. If the e having the dot above it, it is called im. So what we need to understand this dot is nozzleizing the vowel which is associated. A is there. Now I am putting the dot above the A. Then it is called um. If I keep the dot above the U, what it will be? Um. um. If I keep the dot above the Ru, what it will be? Rum. If I keep the dot above the U, what it will be? Um. If I keep the dot above the A, Yum. If I keep the dot above the I, I'm Om Aum. Similarly, now Olesia, can you please tell me what is this? Aha. Aha. Now this is the A because we are having the two dots next to it. We are calling Aha. Now. I will write the E, keep the two dots next to E. Olesia, what it will be, what it could be? He, he. Aha, E, he. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I keep the two dots next to the O, O, who? O, who. Okay. If I keep the two dots next to the Ru, Ru, who? <laughs> So these two are very important thing. If you put the dot above, it nozzleizes the previous oval. If you put the two dots, it gives the aspirate sound to the previous oval. Okay. Now I am going to show you something. All these letters here I mentioned how to write, but not necessarily that you have to follow the same style up to you, whichever way you feel comfortable, you can write. And some pronunciation sounds are given, like a a, sun, a, underlined letter, sun, a, like a master, father, e. If E, feel, feed, to, full, push, pool, like a pool, tool, r, rhythm, r, rhythm, and r, marine, rain, a, pray, or play, I, my, go, go, note. You need to see underline letter, okay? Then, ow, out, now, ow, now, out. Then, um, this M, the dot above the M, or the dot, Nasalization of the preceding vowel. If I put the two dots, aspiration of the preceding vowel. Please do practice. Please do practice. In the next class, in the beginning, I will ask you the questions. You will be writing whichever letter I say and you will be showing. Then I am taking you further. Okay.
So with this, I will stop the class. Oh, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Matashit Dukha Bhagavit, Oh, Shanti 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 Hari O Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari O